Venetian flag proudly waves above the roof of the Hermitage in St. Petersburg, a former winter palace of the Tsars. However, despite the meaning of its French name, it is no longer a place of seclusion. Designed by Rastrelli and built between 1754 and 1762, today the Hermitage is the centre of an art museum that consists of several buildings. In recent centuries, and at the heart of the former Russia of the Tsars, the Hermitage has opened its doors to a large number of magnificent works of art. The former wealth of the Russian royal families is plain to see, and the art treasures that are contained within the Hermitage are priceless. The impressive Peter Hall is dedicated to the legendary founder of the Russian Empire, Peter the Great. Indeed, the hall is a remarkable work of art in its own right. Both the Parade Stairs and the Jordan Stairs are fine examples of the Winter Palace's dramatic architecture. They were also created by the architect Rastrelli. In 1764, the great rooms of the Tsar's family saw the arrival of an outstanding art collection due to Catherine the Great. The Little Hermitage and its two magnificent pavilions were designed to offer the Empress peace and seclusion. Catherine the Great ordered that the pavilions be connected via various galleries. Consequently, this created additional space for newly acquired art collections, such as the Gotskowski collection from Berlin. During the middle of the 18th century, the Royal Billiard Room was located here. Subsequently, this elegant and beautifully decorated area became known as the Hall of the Proto-Renaissance. The purchase of the 225 paintings from Berlin formed the basis of the Russian aristocracy's passion for art and served as the catalyst for the subsequent museum. Works by the most famous Italian artists including Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo and Raphael, have their own splendid exhibition rooms within the Hermitage. In addition to its remarkable works of art, the museum also contains a large number of archaeological discoveries and artistic treasures from entire cultural epochs. Dutch, Flemish and Spanish artists, all of them are exhibited here. 
During the time of the Tsars, these collections were strictly reserved for the pleasure of a small elite. In 1852, the new Hermitage welcomed a wider audience. 65 years later, the entire museum was open to the public at large. Following the Russian Revolution in 1917, the exhibits were augmented by collections gathered from other of the Tsar's palaces in St. Petersburg. of the cultural treasures within the Hermitage covers prehistoric times, antiquity and beyond. The greatest collections are dedicated to national, Russian and Western European works of art. Extending over an area of approximately 100,000 square meters, there's an amazing variety of sculptures, statues and vases on display that cover numerous epochs. The Hermitage is an art museum of the superlative. It contains a total of 2.7 million exhibits, and many of them are the finest examples of their kind. of ancient Roman sculptures that date back to the 2nd and 3rd centuries are on display in the museum's glorious rooms, as well as works by Michelangelo and Rodin. It is hardly surprising that these priceless treasures attract more than three and a half million visitors each year. The Hermitage, the former winter palace of the Russian Tsars, and today the greatest museum in Russia, a veritable palace of outstanding art and history. Mm -hmm.